guys, my name is Circuit, and today we have a fellow YouTuber, artist, and fursuiter, Kate. Today we'll be doing an interview with Kate, and we'll be asking each other 10 questions about just furry experiences, uh, things like that. So let's get started. By the way, her channel is in the description below. Go follow or subscribe or whatever. It's good stuff. How did you discover the furry fandom? How old were you when you did? I think I really discovered the furry fandom through DeviantArt at first, but I didn't really understand like what it was. I was just exposed to the fandom. I didn't really start getting into the fandom until January of last year. So I've been in the fandom for about a year. You're never too old to get into the fandom. I would say that I started in the fandom at age 22. When did you start taking art seriously? Well, Circuit, glad you asked. I started taking art seriously when I came to college for the first time. I started at a community college where my parents lived, and I wanted an associate's degree in art. And I ended up graduating with an associate's in art, but I wanted to specifically major in graphic design at first. So I went to a university in a different town and started to get deeper into art there. And if you've seen my other videos, you know that I kind of got out of the art program and decided to help people instead. But I still really enjoy art and it always encourages me to keep pushing myself. What species of animal is your favorite to draw? My favorite species of animal to draw would have to be a shark because I love sharks. What is your opinion on closed species? My opinion on closed species is kind of, I don't know, indifferent. I mean, if you created the species and you didn't want anybody else to use it, it kind of makes sense. Because sometimes people abuse that, like they might claim it as theirs or whatever. I don't know, I think if people want to do closed species, that's fine. Do you think it's a good idea for young furs to wait until they're 18 to get a fursuit? I think young furries should wait until they're at least 18 to buy a fursuit because it is true that your body is changing a lot during that time. Technically you don't stop growing until you're 25. So you might grow out of the bodysuit that you commissioned if you get one a lot earlier. Now, I, I'm not saying people shouldn't do that at all. I mean, obviously people do. But I recommend that young furries wait specifically for a bodysuit. Now, if you just want a partial with a tail and a head and feet paws, I don't really have much of an issue with that, although your, your foot size might change. Also, it's a great way to teach kids how to save money. I think more kids should be trained on being patient and saving for things rather than just having their parents buy them something. I paid for my own suit. My parents didn't buy this for me. I had to save up and buy it myself. Where do you see your channel in two years? I really don't know where my channel's gonna go in two years. I mean, it's already been three and I don't even know what I'm doing still, really. Of course, I'd love to continue building this community, and I'll just be honest, one of my goals is to get enough subscribers to get a YouTube award. I think that would be really cool. What are some cons you want to go to? I think one con in particular that I'd really like to go to is MFF, or Midwest Fur Fest. This is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, con now and I live kind of close-ish to that area. I would love to go to Rosemont. I think another one I would want to go to is Confuzzled. I can't remember where that one's at though, but I'd love to go there. What is one of the most memorable experiences you've had with or in the furry fandom? One of the most memorable experiences that I've ever had in the fandom would have to be the Southern Illinois fur meet that we had a month ago at Pirate Pete's. The video is on my channel if you want to watch it, but we had pizza and we talked and it was a ton of fun and I really want to do it again soon. It was so nice to meet other people in this area that we can go to events with. If you can improve one thing about the community, what would it be? Too many times I see people get upset 
and like have their art stolen, have their identity stolen, or just plain being mean. I see that happening more and more, especially on furry amino. And I know it mostly happens with younger furries, but some older ones do this too. So I think if people would just work on being more accepting and loving towards each other, we could continue to keep the fandom open and loving and accepting for newcomers and, you know, just everybody. If you had one piece of advice for future furries, what would you tell them? I think one piece of advice that I would give future furries is continue to be accepting in the fandom. Well, that just about wraps it up. So thanks everyone for watching. Like I said, go check out her channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.